Hey guys, today in Making Toys for My Kids, we are turning this hot mess to a beautiful bed for the dolls. I received one of the dolls in this cardboard box and saved it for storage since we didn't have any bed for the dolls. But it's starting to look sad, so I'm giving it a makeover and a new life. I started by measuring the box and added 1 cm to each side, so if the length is 40 centimeters I cut my fabric at 42 centimeters you can see the final measurements of my cardboard box in the description box then I took out any loose staples and taped all the loose and torn sides to make it a little bit more steady now I'm going to cut my fabric I'm using leftover fabric from previous projects so that's cool um, you will need four pieces of the longer side of the cardboard box, four pieces of the shorter side, and one piece for the base part in the middle of the bed. Here are all my pieces ready to go. I'm going to take two pieces of each same side and sew them together at one of their longer edges. So I will have four pairs of two pieces from the same side attached at one of the longer edges. It's probably easier to understand by watching the video. <laughs> I'm using a serger, but a regular sewing machine will also do the trick. If you're using a sewing machine, don't forget to go back and forth at the beginning and the end of your stitch so it will be secured. Now this is what we have, eight pairs attached at one longer edge, making four new pieces. Let's sew them together at their shorter edge. We'll start by taking one of the big ones and place over it, right sides together, the smaller pieces. Okay, so let's go ahead and sew that first. So this is what we have now. Take the last big piece and sew it right sides together with the shorter edges of what we just made. So they will all be connected together at the end. We are going to attach the last piece, which is the middle of the bed. It's a bit tricky, but you can do it. I'm using clips here to make the pieces stay together as I'm preparing the next sewing stage. You can also use pins. I'm attaching each side of the middle part to the same one in length of the weird sleeve I made before. It is like we're creating a box attaching each similar side edge to one another. Then sew everything around. I sewed each side on its own, but you can try to do it all in one stitch. Okay, so this is basically done. I'm going to add legs using paper roll I saved from the recycling bin. I'm just using my hot glue pen for that. Looks perfect, but I wanted to add something fun to it. I have a strip of natural colored pom-poms and I'm sewing it to the bottom edge with my sewing machine. I fold the edge about one centimeters in and attach the pom-pom strip to the wrong side. You can use pins to secure it, then stitch all around. And this is the end result. I was so proud of myself and my son Adam was thrilled to play with it. Keep watching part two where I show you how to make this adorable blanket and pillow set. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.